My name is Mombi Ndongo. I am Chief Growth and Operations Officer of Powerland Project and I also serve as the Executive Secretary to the Board of Directors. Uh, Powerland Project is an impact organization which is headquartered here in Nairobi, Kenya that seeks to build capacity for technology. Uh, we provide scholarships to train software developers across the continent of Africa. We have a base in five countries, namely South Africa, Nigeria, Zambia, Tanzania and Kenya. And we have just finished training our first cohort of 1,000 learners from Kenya who graduated in December and currently are on the course to train 10,000 people from across the five countries that we are based in. The Powerland project was born as a solution to the rising need of quality and affordable talent across the continent of Africa. And this was highly uh, realized during the COVID-19 pandemic because a lot of businesses in Africa had not adapted to technology. And once they tried to adapt, they suffered in two main areas. One was affording quality talent to help them leverage on digital technologies. And secondly was the quality of the talent that they received. So even if they got software developers, they were not qualified enough. So they had to spend more time and resources in upskilling them to make sure that they were able to provide them with the right skill to get them on to um, leverage digital technologies for their businesses. So Powerland came about to create a solution to that by providing quality, accessible and affordable education in the form of a scholarship over a period of 16 weeks to train software developers um, and later provide them with opportunities for work, internships, and some of them who want to become entrepreneurs with the right skill set uh, in form of incubations and accelerators where they can harness their particular ideas into sustainable businesses. So, uh, Powerland has both direct and indirect uh, beneficiaries. By this, I mean um, at Powerland, we have a team of over 60 young people who have been employed to help um, achieve this mission of 1 million developers across, of training 1 million developers across Africa. Um, and we also have the indirect beneficiaries who ideally are the people who benefit from our scholarships um, and, the, and their and the communities around them because once they go through our program they get opportunities for work which means more increased income and in that way they get to grow the communities in which they are growing in as well as those who want to become entrepreneurs they get the opportunity to create sustainable businesses and employ other people into this stream uh, who also get a chance to increase their income and in a way Powerland has not been there for a very long time but the impact that we've seen has been quite tremendous um, we've had conversations with different uh, stakeholders, including some of the parents of the learners that we train. And you can tell that this program has been invaluable to their uh, general well-being. And we are extremely excited uh, that we have been able to train over 10,000 young people within such a short period of time and looking forward to training 1 million over a period of three years up to 2027. The impact we anticipate to have, of course, is going to be tremendous and it's definitely going to be a game changer for the African technology space. Powerland project has been able to innovate around three key pillars, which include quality, affordability, and accessibility. On the area of quality, we work together with different partners, global partners, to ensure that the kind of education that we provide is quality enough for the young people to leverage or to make them uh, on demand in the market. So once they're done with our program, they get an opportunity to immediately go into the marketplace and start, earn, start earning a living. Secondly is accessibility. Our program is run majorly virtually, much as we have the help of instructors who work together with the young people once they are stranded in a particular area. So by making our program virtual, it has given us the opportunity to provide accessibility to as many young people from all corners of this continent, whether in the remote area, urban or peri-urban areas. And this has increased the opportunities for these young people to dream bigger, to be able to go back and build their different communities as well. Um, and on our third note, which is on affordability, we have really worked hard to reduce the cost of the learning to 
uh, to the different young people who have the access to our program by literally making it to no cost at no cost to them. So the cost is fully covered by Powerland and its amazing partners who include Emurgo Africa among others. And uh, through this, we've been able to see uh, a very rapid pickup of our program across the continent and a lot more people who are asking when are we going to this particular area to give the same opportunity to their young people. In the next five to ten years, I see Powerland Project as a thought leader in the space of education in digital technology and digital skills for young people, but also not only in training, but also advancing policies across the continent and globally on how we can make education more relevant to the marketplace. I'm also looking at a scenario where Powerland Project creates the next generation of African leaders, African entrepreneurs, who are going to be building solutions to some of the great challenges we are facing in this continent. I believe I deserve to be a Zuri alumni because of my unwavering commitment to creating positive impact across not only Kenya but the continent of Africa by providing opportunity to young people, to young women to make a life out of themselves using technology and also by creating inclusive spaces uh, where other young women can feel empowered enough to get into the technology space and make, um, uh, make a difference with their different ideas, whether it's in teaching, whether it's in becoming women entrepreneurs, whether it's investing in funding. And I think uh, due to my commitment, I do serve a great purpose, a, a greater purpose than myself, which ideally is what I believe Zuri stands for. Here at Powerland, we are very intentional and deliberate about embracing equity, starting with myself, a young woman, who has been able to be in a position to create opportunity for so many young people. My team includes about 60 young people from across the continent of Africa who have been able to work with me to make the dream of 1 million devs for Africa a reality. Beyond all of that, um, I have a lot of women, young women in my team in positions where they can make decisions, whether it's in marketing and communications, whether it's in community development, and even my training staff who which solely comprises of young women who have been selected on merit based on their expertise in technology. And they guide our learners through the 16-week program and also help refine their projects at the end of the program to help them make them ready for the market. Beyond all of that, even in my own capacity, I have been able to create opportunities for young women and mentor young women who want to go into business um, and by providing them with the knowledge that I have gathered over the period of time I have been in this opportunity and also through providing them with networks of different um, uh, capacities of different people who can help them elevate their ideas to the next level to create sustainable futures for themselves and for the communities they live in.